Grand Prairie, Texas. Late night at a fast food restaurant. Two men wait at the counter. Wayne Moore is here to eat. Tony Swinney, a career criminal, has something very different in mind. The savage blow renders Wayne unconscious and fractures his jaw. I certainly never expected him to do what he did. No time to think at all, no time to react. It just happened. Swinney grabs his wallet and scores a grand total of two dollars. The randomness of this event was disturbing. I was very concerned if he would do this to me randomly, he'll do this to anybody. A few weeks later in Waco, Swinney does just that. This time, his target is Martha Jane Ezar, a tough Texan who's operated her liquor store for 33 years. Martha's grandchildren watch TV nearby. It's a movie about a robbery. Swinney approaches the counter with a bottle of booze. He has no intention of paying for it. You know, I had no clue he was going to do anything like that. Everything just, like, happened just real quick. Blood was just coming down and... And I couldn't see anything. He told me to get up or he was going to kill me. Now, for the first time, authorities have released this never-before-seen video of the entire attack. Next thing I knew, he had picked my register up, cash register, and hit me over the head with it. And then he just kept hitting me and hitting me. He told me several times he was going to kill me when he was hitting me. But Martha's more concerned about keeping Swinney away from her grandchildren. I was trying to hit him back. I came up with my hand between his legs and I tried to grab him and I started hollering at him, just take the money and go. He told me to go to the back. And he told me to get in this room and shut the door and if I came out, that he would kill the kids. Martha waits helplessly in the back room. Thankfully, the children are not harmed. Swinney takes the money and runs. When I got the call, I was the first one there. I walked in the front door, and she was sitting in a chair, and she was just covered in blood. The viciousness of the attack, the brutalness of it, it bothered me. Martha survives the incident with a concussion. I felt like I was lucky I wasn't knocked out and dead from that first blow. Today, she safely greets customers from behind a steel cage. Police make sure there won't be a third victim in Swinney's violent crime spree. He's apprehended several days later and is now serving a life sentence behind bars.